Oh, well, hey there, little french fries. There is more fun to be had, and it must be fun because why? Fun is cool, and I'm cool. And y'all are kind of cool too, you know what I mean? So hey, when you're horsing around, stop it! No more horsing around, okay? We are people. Real people. Hey, in a bit, my buddy Kevin's gonna call to tell us what happens next. And that fellow whose name, uh, his name was, uh, it was Billy Doe, right? No, no, that ain't right, no way. Hold up, is it, Red, Red Rover? No, that just gotta come over. Uh, Danny boy, Daniel, that's what it is. <laughs> hey, I knew I'd get there eventually. Hey, if you remember from last week, or even if you don't, we started to hear a story about Daniel and his three friends, Shad, Meesh, and Benny, right? Hey, pretty sure that ain't their real names, but the names the Cranky King gave them, they were real funky. I mean, real funky. Hey, and so I shortened them. Why? Because I can. <laughs> Besides, their names aren't the thing we need to learn. What we need to learn is that we, you and me, right? Me and you, you and your mama, your mama and your daddy, your daddy and your granny, all of us, we can trust God. Because Daniel's story is gonna show us how God can be trusted, right? Like this here sand, right here. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Hey, let's pretend this here sand is God. Obviously it ain't, because God actually made the sand out of nothing and ain't nobody else gonna be able to do that, right? Hey, but let's pretend for a bit I can trust that this sand here, right here, will be just the thing I need to build myself a real solid house, right? Nobody could break it, nobody, right? You hear me? A house for me out of this sand here, all right? Hey, and, and I'm gonna live in it. Ain't nothing gonna go wrong. Real wrong. Hey, so focus with me now as I trust this sand build me a strong house. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, Y'all sing amongst yourselves here for a second and uh, check back with me here and <laughs> see my my trusty house, it, it, it'll be great. Real great. <laughs> Whenever I run, you come and chase me. There. Every time I fall, you catch me. And when I hide, you hold me tight and remind me who I am. No hide, no death could take us from your love. No lie, no death could undo what you've done. The future.
Mike, come on. Because you know what we're going to do. Brought my trusty glue here. Hey, yo, let's do a little bit in there like that. Yeah, oh, let's get a little bit more sand. Yeah, that's right. A little bit more sand there. Yep, that's how it's going to be on. This is going to be great foundation throughout this nation. It's going to be fantastic. Let me get a little bit more right there. Just, just like that. Just like this. Oh, it's going to be good stuff, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yes. Ooh, that's a bit that's a bit gooey. Yep, that's just very interesting feeling there, guys. We're going to see here. Here we go. Wish me luck. Come on, man. Man. You see, I made a real solid house for some ants. <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing, I mean nothing, 
gonna be able to destroy this, right? I knew I could trust this sand to do the job right there. This beautiful thing right there. What in the world just think? Y'all know what this is? Hey, this here is a terrible example of how God can be trusted. I mean, real terrible example. Hey, 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 Kevin should be calling here any second. He always has a way with words and showing us good examples of who God is by using the stories from the Bible. Hey, wait a second. Hey, here he is right here. Yellow. Uh, you got to give Eric credit for trying. Let's see if I can show you a real example of one way we can know God can be trusted. And I promise, it's nothing like building a house out of sand. He clearly has not read the story in the Bible about building a house on top of sand. Sand is actually the worst example for showing us that God can be trusted. Let's look at the Bible to see how Daniel knew that God could be trusted. Now at this point in Daniel's story, yeah, you remember him? Well, Daniel and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these four guys have been taken by the mean king to learn how to serve him. They are to spend quite a bit of time in how to serve the king school before they can actually serve the mean king. Which, by the way, is a huge bummer because they didn't want to serve him anyways. Hence, they were taken. Let's continue on. As part of their learning to serve the king schooling, the mean king wanted them to grow strong so they could serve him. The king wanted all his servants to be strong and healthy so they could serve him better. One way he tried to make them strong was to have them eat royal food, but God said not to eat that food. Daniel and his friends wanted to follow God, so they asked if they could eat vegetables and water instead. They trusted that God would help them grow strong and healthy without the royal food. So for 10 days, Daniel and his friends only ate vegetables like corn, broccoli, and carrots. And guess what? They grew even healthier and stronger than any of the servants who ate the royal food. Daniel and his friends trusted that God would take care of them, and God did. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Daniel didn't know what was going to happen to him and his friends, but he knew that God could be trusted. And we can know that God can be trusted still today, because God is the same then as he is now. And that's the thing I want you to remember about God when you leave today. Remember that, hey God, can be trusted. Hey, man, it looks like I was wrong again. I mean, real wrong. Hey, it turns out the Bible has a real good trustworthy way of showing us who God is through the stories. He had to put some fellows in there, right? Hey, how about that? Hey, that Daniel and his friends, man, I wonder if they knew all those years ago that their story would one day be written down to help us see who God is, man. That's crazy. Man, guess that's part of trusting God, though. You just never know how God's going to use you, man, and all those things you go through, man, and even for the good, right? Hey, you remember what Daniel did three times a day, if not more? He prayed. Yeah, he prayed so much that he and God, you know what they had? They had a friendship. And when you're friends with someone, you trust them, right? So hey, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's pray. Let's build that friendship with God. Y'all go on, man. We're going to stand up. We're going to stand up and pray together. Go on now, stand up. Hey, God, we're sure grateful to know that, man, we can trust you. We might not know how a situation's going to turn out. You tell us in the Bible that we will go through some hard things while living here on Earth. That's just how it is with sin and all, you know? But. We can trust that you have already overcome the bad things on earth by sending your son Jesus to save us by his death on the cross. Help us to remember that we can trust you. When we forget to trust you, hey, forgive us, God. Your Bible also tells us when we ask for forgiveness that you'll do it. You'll forgive. Thank you. Man, thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey, all right, y'all. Hey, that's it for this week. Come on back next week for Kevin and I to tell you more about Daniel's story and how it teaches us some cool, I mean real cool, things about who God is. Bye, y'all.